What is up everyone? It's it, it's the big video. We're doing one video, one IDC Irish Championship video. Today is Saturday, it's practice, and I am here with Brian. Brian's in Ireland. What's up? I'm here. And we got Tom in Ireland, and we got Kira in Ireland. Hey. So we got Front Street Tom and Brian in Ireland. This is amazing. I'm so happy you guys could make it. It's Hi. awesome. I got to drive two cars already on the left side of the road, <laughs> right hand drive. Never done that. Guys, <laughs> you clipped the curb on the way here. I'm not gonna talk about that. But, so, if you guys know, you've seen the previous videos, I am here to drive in the final round of the Irish Drift Championship Pro Series. This is wild. This is probably one of the most competitive series ever. We have the Shanahan driving, Dwayne McKeever driving, we have James Dean driving, such crazy names. And I am here in the Group D S13, Darren McNamara's personal car. You say that sentence and it just, it blows my mind. If you told me that six months ago, a year ago, I would be puking this car you guys saw in the previous video is something else. It is coined as the best drift S chassis ever. Like, like it has a lot of hype behind it. No, I have the skill. I just gotta get my head right and we'll have a good time. So, today is practice. Yeah, today is practice and Jimmy's gonna do great and win because he's in an S chassis and it's left-hand drive and he's the best. <laughs> S chassis, best chassis. Oh, 100%. Car warming up, it's practice day. So we have a whole day of practice, which is wild. So I'm very, very, very grateful this week because I will take every lap I can to get used to an entirely new car. Everything's different. Well, they've hyped it up quite a bit. I don't know what to expect first lap, you never do, but I'm hoping it's one of those things that just clicks and I'm feeling confident about it. So we should be good to go. in a different car everything's different your body is like learning where everything is like you're thinking about way too much and then the more laps you do the, the less you worry about where your feet are the way the shifter feels your body just knows where it is you stop thinking i've never had a car that can transition like this and it took me a little while to figure that out like my first lap you could tell i under transitioned everything because i'm so used to these s chassis where you flick them they float forever they get back on you pull this thing like well it's funny i noticed you were like underdoing it in the lead yeah. but in the chase yeah 
you, you, you're, you're, you're fine, you're mint. Yeah, Chase is fine. Like, you know what it is about Chase driving? I don't think, I just do. It's amazing. Well, stop thinking so much. <laughs> I know, that's why I, I hate these, because all I have to do, all I have is thinking. It's fucking insane. So, um, the crazy thing is, I am entering so astronomically fast, and I'm not entering fast enough to keep the car sideways. Yeah, so well, like, I, a lot of people have the same problem. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of people have the same exact so, problem. I have to go, and it's hard because if you go flying off that corner, you die. So, I have to enter even faster because I need to enter with more angle because I didn't realize I was showering in that first corner just to power through it. And I went, the fastest I've ever gone was that last lap, and I came way, it just way too much speed, so I went flying off track in the next corner. So, I just got to learn how fast to do the first corner, and once I'm in the second corner, it's easy. Like, you saw the rest of the track, like, I think my third lap, it was like on all the zones. Yeah. Right? So. <laughs> It is wild. I have to enter so freaking fast and I have to really hook the car. If I don't hook the car, it doesn't really back itself in to dig itself out and it literally feels like you're going flying off track. I said it a million times, but damn, is it nuts. <laughs> Uh, the boys really had on that. Darren was hyped, and Darren's a hard one to impress. So I think I'm figuring out. Um, I kept trying to be shallow on the entry because I felt like I couldn't get out to the zones. And so Darren told me to just flick the car and really throw the car through the first corner. And I was like, all right, <laughs> like we'll try it. So I threw it, went into way more angle in the first corner. It felt like it backed itself in and it went perfectly. And then once I got out of the first corner, it is just standard Mondello from there, easy peasy. That one would have been a very, very good qualifying run. So, I, I think every run so far has been very good. You really? hit every zone, yeah. There's like when you figure first got out there, figuring it out, you missed, you know. But, you but I don't look. Like, I don't look like a total scrub out there. No, you look really good. good. You look Thank amazing. You. Yeah. Thank you. I just, no, I think realistically, like you're doing the exact right thing. You're just getting a little bit better every lap, mm -hmm. and that's that's yeah, like the goal for exactly. everybody, right? So the goal now is to. Uh, it's hard. We get two laps. Two laps for a set of tires. Oh, so. Make them count, so um, gotta keep it up. Re repetition, I need to do this without even thinking about it because that's competition. So let's get back out there, get some laps in, and have some fun. What do you think? Brand new ones, I think you wear. <laughs> what, you think I'm what? Excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
starting to like learn the car, which is great. That's what you need, right? Um, it's incredible. Like the more you drive it, the more you realize it could do, and it's blowing my mind. It is a different car. Like you see the way it squats and picks up and unloads. It's, it's wild. It's You're starting absolutely. to feel it in the ass, dude. It's it's. I'm in the burnout box, and the burnout box would intimidate people. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, like I don't even know how to describe it, but it feels like. So good. Like, well, it sounds like you're getting the muscle memory down. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you're driving faster every lap. So fucking, like, so fast. Dude. Today was practice, so I didn't want to put too many clips in, but uh, we got quite a few laps in today. I think we got, what, 14 laps in? Oh, I missed most of them. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Four, dude, was it 14? We get there. How many times did we do? We started off rough. Of course, it's a hell of a car. It's a completely different experience. It's a, everything's different, but by the end, I think I got it down pretty good. There's a couple things, of course, I have to work on, but overall, I feel confident. I feel comfortable. The car is unreal. The things I could do with it is just nothing I've experienced before, and it's probably going to ruin drift cars for me, to be honest, which Darren did say, so. You're ruined. Ruined. Yeah. Ruined, but that's good. So, what? What was that? You didn't really start off rough at all. Kind of threw it in, and you were completely fine off the bat. Did it look like that? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think it was a consistent progression, so I can't be mad about it. So. He needs to wash it very well. Yeah, I guess he ruined it, but he needs to wash it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go get the hose. But it was incredible. Uh, tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is the Compass Chef Fest. It's going to be a huge event. There's going to be a lot of people here. Um, and we will qualify. Duh. Everyone said it was a good qualifying. High qualifying. High qualify run. Probably. <sighs> But for now, let's go get some dinner and um, get back to it tomorrow. All right, boys, today's a big day. Today we are here at Jet Fest for, at Mondello Park, the last round of the Irish Drift Championships. I'm driving the Group D car. We had practice yesterday. Practice went pretty good. You did great. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Spectacular. We have an hour and a half of practice. There's 50 cars, so I'll probably get four laps if I'm lucky. And we're going to use them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because you need to qualify. I need and to qualify. And then we worry about chasing. And then we worry, and about, then we worry about that, yes. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're gonna go for practice. Get a few laps in. Everything's great. It's gonna be great. First lap of the second day. We only have a couple of practice laps, so I gotta make a count. Luckily, staying in the car now, I feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, so hopefully, that translates to driving too. So. American Irish Drift Champion. Jimmy's going out for his first qualifying lap of the day. He's been driving very well all day. We're going up in the stands to watch. It's very hard to qualify for this. Everyone here is driving great yes, this like weekend. Amazing. 
all pro drivers. Yep. And uh, not only guys. that, this is the last round of the championship. So it, this round matters a lot to all these guys. And now Jimmy's coming in as a wild card and could potentially he could make upset it, he could, everybody. Yeah. Your first qualifying is hugely important because if you mess that one up, you only have one more. And, and you try he, and use the first one to figure out what you did wrong to make a better score for the second one. High score on the first, higher score on the second. Yeah. That's what you hope for. That's what looks good. Thank you. Send it. First qualifying. Send it higher. Yep. Am I already up? Holy shit. No one came and got me. I just came back. <laughs> I pitched it in, I think for turn one, I don't think the car, I don't think I let the car rotate enough, so it just drove itself out into the, I will literally like, as soon as I flicked, I was like, good, good, good. It's like, what the fuck, you it know. Doesn't matter. It's fine. So, it's just nice every, it's every other part of that track you nailed. Yeah. I know, I still, I still got, I went three wheels off and still got a 67, which means yeah, if, I, if I hit three mint, it would have been. No, it, it literally been, every other part of the track. Part of I had a 69? No, 67. Yeah, I have, but if I didn't, if I actually hit that zone, it would have been a really high score. Yeah. Fuck, the entry is everything. Like, that's the hard part. Like, well, think about it. It's fine. That would have been so mid. Yeah, it's fine. Just thing. do it next time. Don't get yeah. chill. You know? Don't just forget about them. Just yeah. Do it. That was practice. That was practice. Yeah. Yeah. Here, take that. Get it there. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's our boy. Yeah, yeah you're in. Fucking 87. Yeah. What? 87. 87. 87. Let's go. <laughs> That's good. And I met, and I like. You're what? in the show. You're in the show. One yeah. zone. One you're zone away from a 90 perfect. something. <laughs> so good. What's that? The first zone? The first inner? No. Second outer. Three. 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 That's good. Uh, 87. Good. Thank God. Awesome. <laughs> Nervous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your first one. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what we wanted from the first one, and so be it. No. So be it. Yeah. Yeah. That, We're that's in. That's all that matters. And yeah. it fucking happens, everybody. So it happens absolutely the best of the best. So don't worry about it. But to pull that out after being in the low like that, it, it hits different. So I'm very happy. No, it's good relief. It's. I mean, you had one chance. One chance. All right, uh, top 32, first battle is against a very good driver, of course, because everyone here that made it in the qualifying is phenomenal. Since my qualifying is lower, uh, I'll be chasing first, which sometimes kills me because it's nice when you lead first, right? Because if you lead first, you know how hard you have to go on your chase, right? Because if you lead first and they don't really go hard, then you can take it easy and not have to worry about knocking yourself out. When you chase first, you just have to go as hard as you can off the rip because you don't know if they're gonna come around and just go crazy behind you. So, got this, right? Got yeah, it. In the bag.
so we just got off our battle and we had issues with the gearbox on the chase um I, you'll see it in the go i hope you can see it in the gopro i could not get it into third it was just like trying to go in the first it wouldn't go in the third it just wouldn't go in and i finally got to go in and the car just doesn't like to drift slow it just hates it and so like you couldn't carry enough speed by the time you yeah got it here. and i just was doing dumb stuff because i was mad at this point and you know wrote my whole runoff and then um when I when I led, it was I got it in the third. It barely it, it actually missed third, and then I got it in on the second shift. You guys will see in the GoPro, and I just fucking Jimmy rocks. <laughs> I just drove awesome, like a, uh, an asshole. To be fair, like I don't think I've driven this car that fast yet. I mean, yeah. from your lead <laughs> looked really fast, it's, and I think you kind of shook him a little bit. But no, it was a freight train. Like to be fair, all I needed was a mediocre like. Chase. Because this was so fast, he couldn't even keep up. All I needed was a like a practice level tandem, and you just I just needed to be there. I mean, as guys. soon as as soon as we saw the run start, like we knew there was a problem. I mean, Dude, you, I was you so didn't do ready. that all yesterday. You didn't do that all this morning. I was so ready, like this is my time, and I would have won that. I should have won that battle. But that's drifting. You never I know. I mean, you listen, know. you know. At the at the very least, you can say you can't necessarily be mad at yourself. If there's a mechanical problem, there's a mechanical problem. It just happened to happen at the worst possible time. I, I am, I'm bummed because the opportunity was very great. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just getting in the top 32 here, like it might not seem like a big deal. Like you guys see top 32 of competition everywhere, but to hear it, I wish you guys can understand the level of driving in Ireland. This is amazing. Like, Everyone is good. And, and, like you, you beat out people that are phenomenal drivers just to get in the top 32. So you should be proud of yourself for that. You should be in 16. <laughs> and then after that, who knows? Uh, I'm proud, but of course, anyone's gonna get upset in this situation. Oh yeah. Uh, there's nothing to blame. It's just drifting. That's just what it is. So what? That's it. One loose bolt. Uh, uh, the car let you down, unfortunately. That's it. Sorry. No, thank, thank you for everything. everything. This was an insane One opportunity. Bolt. Now the bolt could be sheared or whatever, but it's the the rock. To the One. Bolt. Three cent part. Yep. <sighs> Disable the 250,000 euro guy. <laughs> I'm happy my lead was good. Like, you still, oh, you got it into gear in the lead? Is, yeah. <laughs> uh, at least I got to leave that battle like on a high note. You know what I mean? Like it would have sucked to just fumble the lead. You you, know, you kind of knew right away it was a shifter as soon as he said he went in, in grid. It felt weird. Yeah, once yeah. it feels weird, it's a shifter. You know, yeah. it has to be. So, I guess on a positive, maybe unfinished business. Unfinished business. Hey, you didn't, you didn't beat yourself. You know what I mean? You got that, beat that, by your car. Yeah. and I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh. All right. Well, the camera went down, so I could enjoy myself, and the rest of the show was unbelievable. Of course, Dwayne, Tom, Jack, and James were in the finals. It was. A ridiculous battle and inspiring and uh, dude this experience was amazing like to to be able to tame for the most part a car like that was such a big feat in itself because that thing is such a weapon and it's just such a different experience and then going through the trials of the competition you know like the stress of qualifying poorly and then making it up and then going into battle and all of that all the practice and all the overcoming of the vehicle it was an awesome awesome experience I'm upset because I didn't have my opportunity to prove myself because I could have done extremely well and I was ready to do well and um, I think I could have made it pretty decently far. Um, the missed opportunity hurts, but it's part of your thing that happens. A small bolt backed off and the shifted linkage and it's just part of it, it happens. You know, it could happen to anyone. Besides that, the car didn't skip a beat at all. That is one incredible machine that Darren and the boys put together. And um, it has just opened up my eyes to a lot and has given me a lot of confidence. And I'm really excited about it. So, not the biggest win podium wise, but internally I feel like this was a huge win and an incredible experience. So, if you guys are still here, thank you for watching. I just wanted to drive and progress and I did just that. So. I cannot thank Darren and Group D enough for allowing me this opportunity. It was a 
amazing to say the least absolutely amazing and there is more to come so for now we're all tired we're gonna pack up catch a flight early in the morning head back home and get right back to it so for now you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys very shortly